The idea of freedom of thought is to protect the inner sanctum of our mind from external interference. That's off limits from tech mediated interferences or otherwise. But there is a slate of current and emerging technologies that call into question this assumption. Our rights regime was designed for much more tame interferences with our ability to think. And the challenge is, how do we remain true to the spirit of those laws designed in the 20th century when the circumstances, the sort of technological environment around us has changed so drastically? Initially, these tools appeared harmless, providing us with new efficiencies and productivity. However, over time, a subtle, perhaps unconscious shift transpired. Modern and emerging technologies have now assumed a commanding role by establishing a direct conduit to the deepest recesses of our minds and thoughts. We have well-documented examples from the social media space where feeds push eating disorder content to young teens. We have issues of electoral manipulation slash persuasion. The line between the two can be difficult to draw. And we haven't even touched on the maturing domain of generative AI and workplace surveillance technologies, along with the emerging fields of AR, VR, and brain-computer interfaces. So we have sort of short-term established risks, but we also have medium and longer-term risks that are on the horizon. And the idea of this report is to map out some of these implications so that practitioners, human rights advocates and lawyers, technologists can really start to proactively think about the freedom of thought implications of these technologies as they become more and more pervasive. This complex topic and the overt infringement of our fundamental right to freedom of thought deserves an in-depth reading and understanding, which can be found in our CG policy brief linked from this video.